Hello student, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss another question on the topic opioid analysis. So question which I am going to discuss today is Why morphine is used in cardiac asthma but not in the bronchial asthma? So whenever we talk about the asthma Agar hum akela asthma ki baat karte hai, We usually talk about the bronchial asthma which is because of the inflammation of the airway and there is a narrowing of the airway which is going to cause cough, dyspnea and wheezing. Okay. So another is cardiac asthma. Now what is a cardiac asthma? It is a complication of left ventricular failure. Now what happens if there is a left ventricular failure? I'll just show you here. When we talk about the, so this is the left side and this is the right side. So whenever we are going to talk about the failure, that means heart is unable to pump the blood in a forward direction. So, here from the left ventricular, where the blood is going, it is moving towards the iota. Now, because of the heart failure, now what happens? The blood is not able to move from here to here. Now, this left ventricle, it is receiving blood from where? From which chamber? From the left atrium. Isko blood kahan se aara? Isko blood aara yahan se. From the left atrium, the blood is moving towards the left ventricle. Now, if the blood is not moving in the forward direction, agar wo left ventricle se aage yahan pe iota mein nahi aara, then it is not going to receive the blood from left atrium to the yahan se ye yahan nahi aayega. It is not going to receive the blood from the left atrium to the left ventricle. Now, in the left Atrium, aapka yahan pe, here at this area, this is receiving the blood from where? Okay? So, this is receiving the blood from the pulmonary veins. Okay? This is receiving the pul from blood from the pulmonary veins or of pulmonary veins. From the lungs. Now, this will not receive the blood from the pulmonary veins and where it will accumulate this blood it will be accumulating where in the pulmonary circulation and leads to pulmonary congestion and pulmonary edema ye do patient ko now because of this pulmonary congestion and edema what will happen Patient will come with the cough. Patient ko kya hoega? Patient ko cough hoogi. Patient will come with the cough. Patient will be having a wheezing. This is called a cardiac asthma. Okay. So, now in the cardiac asthma and bronchial asthma, you should be able to distinguish both because the management, it is totally different in a bronchial asthma and in the cardiac asthma. So, cardiac asthma, it is a complication of the left ventricular failure or in other words, what I want to say, the question is why morphine it is used in cardiac asthma. Aapko question ye bhi asakta, why morphine it is used in left ventricular failure. Ye question simple asakta. Zururi ni ki aise aai, why it is used in a cardiac asthma but not in a bronchial asthma. Siddha asakta, why morphine, explain why morphine it is used in left ventricular failure. So in any way, chai wo aai, why it is used in cardiac asthma, why it is used in left ventricular failure, the answer will be same. Now just see, in the cardiac asthma or in the left ventricular failure, what is the reason? There is a pulmonary congestion and pulmonary edema. Heart is not able to pump the blood in the forward direction. Okay? Now, why we are going to give the morphine? So morphine, number one, it is going to produce a vasodilatation. 
this is very important action so it is going to produce a vasodilatation or vasodilatation is me kis wajah se hoti vasodilatation is because of the histamine release ye kis ki wajah se second one is because of the reduced tone peripheral tone reduced tone of the blood vessels and number 3 there is a depression of the vasomotor center okay so it is going to produce a vasodilatation because of that vasodilatation there will be peripheral pooling of the blood okay ab isi ko aur aage batate peripheral pooling of blood now this right side right side of the heart it is going to receive the blood from where from the vena cava okay right side aapka heart kaisa hai from the vena cava from the right atrium it is going to right ventricle and from where where this blood will be moving it will be going to the pulmonary trunk this blue color it is moving towards the pulmonary trunk and where it will go it will go to the lungs from here it is going to move towards the lung and where oxygenation of the blood will happen and once it is purified then what will happen the once it is purified in the lung it will through the pulmonary vein it is going to move towards the left atrium now because of the vasodilatation ab kya hai vasodilatation ki wajah se kya ho gaya there will be peripheral pooling of the blood all over the body kya hoga aapka there will be peripheral pooling of the blood in the veins and because of that what will happen this return of the blood towards the right atrium ye aapka kaam ho jayega theek hai then in the right ventricle the blood will be less then ultimately from the right ventricle where it is moving it is moving towards the pulmonary trunk and going where to the lungs so this whole thing will be decreased so because of the vessel dilatation what will happen there will be peripheral pooling of the blood and because of the peripheral pooling of the blood what will happen it is going to decrease the preload isko hum bolte preload so preload is it depends on the condition of the veins aap heart pe kitna load pad raha hai so it depends on the condition of the load so if there is a veno constriction veins agar aapki constricted hai then what will happen the preload will be more if there is a veno dilatation then preload will be less so this is going to decrease by decreasing the preload it is going to decrease the cardiac walk okay so this is the number one so there is a vasodilatation because of the vasodilatation vasodilatation ke ye reason hai theek hai it is going to release of histamine decreases the tone of blood vessel and it is going to decrease the vasomotor depression of the vasomotor center so it is ultimately decreasing the cardiac now number 2 number 2 is it is going to produce the calmness patient remember morphine uh, it is going to take care of not only the analgesic part also the emotional component which is related with the pain so it is going to cause the calmness in the patient so it is going to take care of the with the pain that apprehension fear anxiety whatever is there it is going to take care of that by producing the calmness it is going to decrease the sympathetic activity and again it is going to decrease the cardiac walk this is what we want in a left ventricular failure so this is a number 2 number 3 it is going to cause a shifting of the blood shifting of the blood from this ye aapka pulmonary circulation se shifting kidhar ho jayegi shifting of the blood from the pulmonary circulation to the systemic circulation because of the more dilatation of the later aapki systemic circulation ki jo systemic blood vessels hai they are dilated 
and then the blood it is going to move fluid will move from the pulmonary circulation to the systemic so pulmonary congestion patient ko pehle se if there is a shifting of the fluid from the pulmonary from the lungs to the systemic uh, circulation then what will happen there will be jo uske symptoms are there will be patient will be relieved from the pulmonary congestion relieved from the pulmonary edema so this is again the third thing which we want theek okay? hai so number 3 is it is going to cause a shifting of the blood from the pulmonary circulation to the systemic circulation so there will be relief from the pulmonary congestion and pulmonary edema now number 4 number 4 is it is going to produce the respiratory depression so remember that one thing morphine ka morphines m a r r stands for the respiratory depression so it causes the respiratory depression so this is going to reduce the air hunger that is again going to help in the left ventricular failure patient so these are the four points due to which we are going to use this drug in the cardiac asthma and or in the left ventricular failure now why it is contraindicated or why it is not used in the bronchial asthma again i am just revising mar fins this is the pharmacological action of this morphine so here this histamine h stands for the histamine release and because of this histamine release what this morphine it is going to cause it is going to cause a bronco constriction so because of this morphine it is not used in a big no it is not used in bronchial asthma so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and put up your important uh, suggestion in the comment box and if you want me to make any video on any other topic of the pharmacology so you can put up your suggestion in the comment box